Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my RPG Maker MV video tutorials. Uh, in this for second episode, uh, um, so pretty much straight to it, um, this is going to be the interface um, part of the tutorial. So I'm pretty much going to walk you through the whole interface. That way when we're going, well not the whole interface, but the major parts of the interface. So when we're actually, you know, working with the tutorials, you guys already know where everything is versus me explaining to you guys an interface as the tutorial which makes them extremely long right so getting straight into it um over here to the left side let's start with this map here um so down here we have our map list right so this pretty much has a list of all the maps that are in our game right and in order to create a new map all you would have to do is right click on one of these um icons or one of these slots um, and hit new or um, contrarily you could also use load to um, you know load one of the um, pre-made maps so another thing that I do want you guys to take note is how these lists how this list is created so for example if you right click on the map already for example this test 2 if you right click it and make a new map when you you know make the new map it will become a child of that map that you right click to make the map of now if you want to make a parent map um what you want to do is right click on the green icon and hit new because as you can see all the other maps are a child of that green icon so that green icon is essentially your whole game world um now and again um, I did mention to you guys that this I want you guys to consider as your brush panel um, also I call this a towel set panel which is where uh, pretty much a list of all your different brushes or your towel sets that you're gonna be using to decorate or paint your world with that's pretty much the main three areas that you guys want to uh, you know that you're gonna be working on most of the time um, a couple of more things that I do want you guys to take note everything that's on the top section is the same thing that you will find in these listed menus up here some of the other um, interfaces that we have is a database menu which pretty much shows you all your database related assets for example this is where all your actors will be stored all your classes your skills your items and so forth um, this whole database menu I will be coming back in the future to talk about you have your plugin menu which has a list of all your plugins that you have in your game um, the name of it the status of it if it's on or off and you know a brief description of what it does um, again we will be coming back here later in the future uh, the next we have your um, sound test so this is where you could actually test out all the sounds that you have in your game Bra background music background sound um, M E S E. I forgot what M E stands for, but S E stands for sound effect. I think this is music effect, but I'm not sure. Um, but S E is definitely sound effect. Um, play, stop, volume, uh, pitch, pan, left or right. Um, this is your event searcher. Now, this is kind of new. Um, I don't know if it's to Ace, I mean to MV or to Ace, but it's new. Um, so this pretty much allows you to search for all the events that you have um, on, you know, on your map. So you could search for events that have, you know, are using a switch, whatever you pick, or are using a variable of whatever you pick, or if the name matches, and they'll show you what map it is and all this other stuff. Um, this is your resource manager. I'll come back to that in a second. Make sure I don't miss any. Your resource manager pretty much is um, a list of where all your resources are. So instead of manually going into your game folder and adding all these resources manually, you could actually do it straight from this manager. Resource manager, I will not be explaining to you guys um, in the future. Instead, we will actually, I mean, I will tell you guys, you know, how to use it and how it works. But what I recommend personally is to just drag and drop all your files to where they need to go. Um, your play button of course um, that's pretty much it for this video um, again like I said this is just pretty much um, 
straightforward showing you how to use the all you know what the various aspects of RPG Maker MV is and all the different um, interfaces of it. Um, again, just in case you guys didn't get what this this stuff does, um, I did explain it in the last video. Um, this is just your pencil tool that allows you to draw one tile at a time. This is your rectangle, which allows you to draw rectangles. Your elliptical tool, which allows you to draw ellipticals. Your fill tool, which allows you to fill. Your shadow tool, which allows you to create your own or shadows or remove your own shadows. Um, zoom in, zoom out. Make the map what it needs to be. Um, undo. Copy, paste, cut. You guys know all this great stuff. But that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to hit that subscribe button to be updated every time I release a new video. And also make sure to like the video because that helps me out a lot. Um, if you dislike the video for a reason or another, please dislike the video. And in the comments down below, let me know the exact reason why you disliked it. And I can, you know, be better. And I'm always striving to be better. So let me know how I can be better for you guys. Again, have a good day and peace.